Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing baking soda to see how well it removes bacteria in my toilet bowl. I've had a lot of viewers ask me if I would test baking soda in various aspects around my home, including just cleaning around the house, the toilet bowl, and also cleaning lettuce. Today I'm gonna to focus on the toilet bowl. I've had viewer requests from Eli Russ, Mangold108, Gabriella Sobera, Jennifer Green, ISB8684, Truly Sensitive, Azzy Raziel, and others. I do want to point out something though. Nowhere on the baking soda package anywhere does it say that it can remove bacteria or that it's an antimicrobial or an antibacterial or anything like that at all. It's just considered a cleaning agent. But in order to test how well baking soda removes bacteria, because that's what my viewers have requested, what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab the toilet bowl. I'm gonna place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean using the baking soda, swab the toilet bowl again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. That way, we'll be able to see how much bacteria is in my toilet bowl before and after cleaning with baking soda. So I went to the Arm & Hammer website and I tried to look up how do you clean your toilet bowl using baking soda. And what I found was there was a blog post that they have in their website which teaches you how to make uh, like toilet bombs. And with that, the ingredients would be a cup of Arm & Hammer, citrus acid, um, water, essential oils, silicone molds, the whole nine yards to make those little bombs. I don't wanna make a toilet bomb because then I'm not gonna know which ingredient is the one that's removing the bacteria. Is it the citric acid? Probably. Is it the essential oils? Or is it the baking soda or a combination of both? I just wanna test baking soda. So for this test, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush the toilet I'm gonna empty the toilet bowl. You all know how much I hate when a product says you have to empty the toilet bowl in order to use it, but I'm gonna do it because this product is just a powder and I feel like it'll get diluted and lost in the toilet bowl water. So I'll empty the toilet bowl. I'll sprinkle a cup of baking soda around the edges of the toilet bowl the best I can. I'm gonna take a brand new toilet scrub brush and scrub it and then flush it. And we'll just see how much bacteria is removed. Okay, so let's see how well baking soda removes bacteria from my toilet bowl. Now for some results. The toilet bowl. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, 
we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria in the toilet bowl. So from the results in my toilet bowl, baking soda alone is not enough to remove the bacteria. However, it did do a nice job at shining it up. I mean, it did look visually clean. It just did not remove all of the bacteria. I've stated in some other videos that I'm not the kind of person that has to have my toilet bowl completely bacteria free. And just as a reminder, in case you fast forwarded to the end of the results, I did use a brand new toilet brush for this test. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first. That's also in the description below so we can have a conversation about the product first. Might be something that I have in queue, might be something that I've already tested. So let's just have a conversation before you mail me something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.